And we are joined by uh, Mackenzie and Becky, Miss Rodeo America on the right there, and uh, Miss Rodeo Nebraska on the left. So, ladies, thanks for stopping by this morning. Always good to see you. Well, thanks, thanks for having us. So, I guess the first thing you can each answer is just what is maybe your favorite thing about serving in your your current position? And Mackenzie, we'll start with you. Oh my goodness, being uh, Miss Rodeo America, I have the opportunity to travel the country, going to different rodeos and functions, and I mean, traveling coast to coast, and I think one of the, my favorite thing are the people that I meet. You know, so you always say, wherever you are that's fun, the most thing that sticks out in your mind that has been the most fun, ends up being where the, the people that were there were the most fun and you had the best time with. So I would definitely have to say my favorite thing is, is being able to interact with so many different people. All right. Um, the favorite thing I like about my current position as Miss Rodeo Nebraska is also the people. Mackenzie had a good point, but all the places I get to go. As Miss Rodeo Nebraska, I do get to travel to several states and travel lots of miles, so that's the best part. Yeah, and that, that travel can always be hectic, but probably fun <laughs> as well. And uh, you laugh. Do you have any specific stories of some crazy travel trips that you've had to... <laughs> well, I will tell you a little bit. <laughs> One thing on my way here, I was sitting in the, the... If any of you have been to Denver Airport, and downstairs in the Great Lakes area, very confusing, very small planes. And uh, all of a sudden, it got to be after my boarding time for my flight, and I went up and I said what happened to the North Platte flight? And they said, oh, that's long gone. So <laughs> missed my flight, didn't hear anything, never called my name. So I had to get a different flight to Kearney. So it was just a very recent one, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I can only imagine. Now, uh, one thing I, I can admit, I've heard that you guys, when you go to different rodeos and travel around, you have to ride horses that you're unfamiliar with, that you've never maybe ridden before. And so are there any interesting stories about problems you've had with that? And uh, Becky, we'll start with you this time. I personally haven't had any problems <laughs> with my horses. I think they give me the gentle ones because they see me coming. But there are other queens that have had uh, mishaps, uh, crazy adventures, ordeals, but I personally haven't had any experiences. All right. All right, well that's good news. Mackenzie, how about you? You're laughing how already. How long do we have? <laughs> oh boy. I have all, ever since last year I was Miss Rodeo of South Dakota, I have always said, for some reason, I'm always giving the horses that either buck or want to do something crazy. So not only this year, not only this first six months as Miss Rodeo America, but last year, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I have stories and stories, but um, just horses that wig out in the arena pretty much is the end of the story for that. Sure. I'm just going to stop at that. Now, speaking of horses, there is kind of the uh, that unfortunate equine herpes virus one that's out there that's causing some problems. Um, have either one of you encountered situations where that's kind of interfered with your plans while traveling about? Um, for me, none of my plans have been canceled. I have seen numbers of contestants in the rodeos have gone down, but other than that, none of my events have been canceled. For you, Mackenzie? None of mine either. I kind of, in talking to vets about the whole herpes virus outbreak, is kind of, um, it got blown way out of proportion, and a lot of people were freaking out for um, reasons that they thought were going on. And yeah, a lot of things got canceled in Colorado, but nothing of a personal for me. Okay, well, and that's, yeah, that's probably certainly yeah. good news. Now, um, as far as, you know, certainly a lot of people look up to you guys in positions of, of being a role model and whatnot. So when you have an opportunity to address, um, you know, younger girls or something like that that might have an interest in it someday having your position as Miss Rodeo Nebraska or perhaps Miss Rodeo America, what are some of the things you tell them? And, and Becky, we'll start with you. Um, some of the things I tell them is just to be yourself. They always say that is the number one key. You can't be fake or anything like that. You have to truly be yourself and you have to enjoy what you're doing and you want to do it for yourself. You don't want to do it because your parent tells you or your teachers or your best friend says, oh well that'd be fun. You truly have to do it for yourself. All right. It being yourself is a big key because a lot of people try to fit a mold and you never want to be a cookie cutter rodeo queen because it's very easy to put, to pick out. Um, but another thing I, I like to tell them is never give up. I have lost way more pageants than I have won and if you let one defeat get you down you're never going to get to be where you want to be. So I would tell them one, be yourself, very cliche, everyone says it, but it's very, very true, and to never give up. All right, so uh, Becky, I believe with this uh, Miss Rodeo Nebraska pageant in town this week, your time as Miss Rodeo Nebraska is, is coming to an end soon? Um, yes and no. They will 
crown a new Miss Rodeo Nebraska for 2012. However, I still will go on to compete for Miss Rodeo America in December to possibly be where Haley's position, Mackenzie's position is. Sorry, her last name is Haley. But, um, so that is where I am at. So I will have another girl coming in, but I am still currently Miss Rodeo Nebraska. Okay, very cool. And then Mackenzie, um, I understand you do have some autograph sessions while you're here in town, so I'm sure that's something that you look forward to as well, getting to meet some of your fans. Of course. Autograph sessions are always a blast. I am, I love children. I love being able to interact with them and meet them. So anytime that you know little kids come and want an autograph, that's fun. But we will be at Walmart and, and Shopco today. Very cool. So, ladies, again, thank you so much for stopping by. And I know you got a lot of uh, exciting events planned for this week. And I know I look forward to seeing you out at the Buffalo Bill Rodeo.